se recomienda las dosis de refuerzo de la vacuna contra el COVID-19 para ciertas personas. Para más información visita vaccinate.virginia.gov o llama al 877-829-4682. Mensaje del Departamento de Salud de Virginia. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to Off the Record with Ben Nichols, another Ben Nichols podcast. Don't tell my mom. Yeah. Perfect. All right, man. I got a gnarly story for you today. Nobody almost dies. You know, it, nobody even gets hurt. And for the nature of the story, that is just hilarious. But today what I'm going to be sharing with you is the story of my first and only fight. Uh, I've never been too much of a fighter or anything like that. And throughout my life, I've gotten into some, I've gotten into some serious situations. But as far as an actual one-on-one -on -one fight... Uh, this is the really the only one that really ever comes to my mind. So, I'm going to set the stage for you, okay? I can't remember what year it was, but I was in 7th grade. And in 7th grade, I was very much a different person. Much like you, you know, I'm sure you were not even remotely close to the type of person that you are today that you were in 7th grade. And that's normal, right? That's pretty common. We evolve, we grow. Uh, but in 7th grade, you got to understand, man, for lack of a better term, I was a nerd, Okay? I read the dictionary in sixth grade. Like, people knew me, saw me reading the dictionary. I led the school in AR points. Does anybody even remember what AR points are? All right, yeah. I had the most in the school in sixth grade. So this is a year after that, right? I've gotten a little taller. Uh, not by much. When I say a little taller, I mean I was like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, okay? I was short, chubby, glasses, uh, <laughs> I read the dictionary, okay, I was a nerd, and to all my fellow nerds around the world, it is not a diss, it's not a bash, you know, we need to band together, nerd power, right, um, but in any case, man, in seventh grade, I was a nerd, and I was the only nerd on the football team, and I remember, I'll never forget this, because there was this dude, and his name was Tyler, and I'm going to stop right there. I have absolutely no idea where this dude is now. I have no idea what is up with his life. Uh, all I know is, is back in seventh grade, he was a jerk. Absolute bully, okay? And up to this point, I had always been the guy not to even say anything. Like, I was the invisible nerd, okay? Like, I didn't want to draw any attention to myself or anything like that. And I was really even, I was only even playing football, at the time, because the coach told me since I was bigger than the average middle schooler, that's where I needed to be. And I'm so thankful for that because I met so many great friends through football that I never would have met had I not played football in seventh grade. So, shout out to you guys, man. Uh, in any case, in seventh grade, I was a nerd. And Tyler, he was a bully. Like, he was just a jerk. And me, my whole survival mentality was just... If he doesn't see me, he's not going to bully me, right? Um, and that was wrong, but at the same time, I was in seventh grade. I was just coming into my sense of self. But one day, I walked into the locker room after practice, and, I mean, this was just like after a week of Tyler's shit. I mean, he was just bullying kids and taking their crap, like taking their stuff out of their locker room. He made one kid cry. Like, he was just a jerk that particular week, man. And I guess that day... That particular day, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Because I walked in, and he was saying some shit to somebody else in the locker room. And I was like, you know what, man? Some days, you're going to get yours. And he was like, well, is it going to be you? You know? And you have to understand, in seventh grade, I was extremely mild-mannered. I was not even cursing yet. Like I, didn't, <laughs> like, I didn't know how to talk tough, okay? I said, yeah, it might be. <laughs> and he was like, well, you want to take this outside? And I was like, yeah, sure, you know, why not? We could take this outside, bro, you know, like trying to be all tough in seventh grade. And mind you, on the inside, I am freaking out. Like, I've never been in a fight before. He's definitely bigger than me. He's got more muscle than me. He's meaner than me, right? Like, out of everybody that should have stood up to this guy, it shouldn't have been me. But it was. And... I just remember after saying, you know, we can go outside, bro. He was like, all right. And he stormed off to his back corner of the locker room doing whatever. Gosh, that sounds weird. But he was doing whatever people do in the back corner of the locker room, right? Um, and I just remember looking around the locker room and all my friends and their mouth, their jaws on the floor, right? They couldn't believe out of everybody, Ben 
The kid who read the dictionary is going to be the one to stand up to the bully. Well, they were like, are you sure, bro? And I said, yeah, no, I have to now, right? Well, I'm going to fill you in on something. Never been in a fight before. That was my first year of playing a contact sport. So the only knowledge that I had had of being tough or physical or anything like that came from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z hardcore as a kid. And that day, whenever I stood up to him, I just had a fleeting vision in my mind of me just performing some back house Dragon Ball Z kick, and all of a sudden I was a hero. So that's, <laughs> I shot the shot, man. So I remember I go outside, and everybody comes out. They're all hyped because... You know, it's a fight. You're in middle school. Fight, fight! You know, everybody's coming over and everything. And uh, I kind of put my bags down. And I also, key, key, key detail in this story right here is I wore glasses as well. Uh, And I remember I put my bags down on the ground and my mom wasn't there yet. But we were waiting outside where cars, you know, we weren't going to fight where our parents were coming to pick us up at, of course. So I'm standing out there waiting and everybody's coming out and the anticipation's building, right? Like, and I swear it was like high noon, the Western whistle, Da-da-da-da. man, I wish I had that sound bite. That would have been dope. Hey, we'll get it next time. But in any case, I'm standing there and Tyler comes walking out of the bathroom, locker room, and he puts his stuff down. And I remember we walk up to each other and we put our dukes up, you know, got our fists up in front of our face. He was like, all right, man, you ready? You ready for this? And I was like, yeah. Because in my head, I already knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to step, plant, and then roundhouse his ass, okay? Like, I was not <laughs> like I was not messing around, dude. And, uh, you know, what ended up happening was that he swung and he missed. And I did a, like a shin kick, right? Like a quick little, <laughs> and I connected, right? It like caught his fist or his wrist or something, whatever. Well, you know, we, we dance a little dance for a second going around. And then he swings, okay? And it didn't, like, hit my face. It didn't, like, hit my head. The only thing it actually hit was the corner of my glasses. Like, it didn't connect with my skin at all. He hit my glasses and they went flying off. He Like, he knocked my glasses. And in that moment, instead of continuing to fight, like, I freaked out because I was legally blind. Without my glasses, I was legally blind, okay? So, as soon as I feel them come off of my face, I scream... Pause, 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 time out, time out. Like, <laughs> I took my hand and made the time out motion, like in the middle of the fight. And I remember he never had seen that before, like ever in his life. I can just remember the look of just what the fuck, <laughs> like on his face. And I bend over and I pick up my glasses and everybody was watching that quote unquote fight lost it. They were like, dude, you can't pause the fight. Like, wh- <laughs> like what? And so I pick him up and I put my dupes back up. I'm like, all right, man. You ready for this? You want to? You sure you want to do this? And he looked at me dead ass in the face and said, "No." <laughs> he said, "No, man. I don't even want to fight you anymore, dude. Like, come on." He said, "You just paused to put your glasses on." No. And I'd be damned if he didn't just turn around and walk away. <laughs> like he was not gonna do that. I guess once he saw how how it was gonna go down, he was like, "No, dude. This is not even worth my time." And he left. Like seriously, that was the end of it. And I remember the next day, everybody was like, well, who really won? Who won? Dude, I don't think anybody won. There wasn't a clear winner. Like, <laughs> I got, my shin kicked his wrist, and his fist hit my glasses. That was it. And I remember getting in the car and telling my mom that I would just gotten in a fight. And I told her what happened, and she said, that wasn't a fight. And <laughs> But, yeah, disclaimer, I have absolutely no idea where that Tyler kid is now, or if he ever amounted to anything, or anything like that, but I do remember that after that little altercation, whatever it was, was that he didn't bully anybody on the football team anymore, like, he didn't do his bullying shit, at least around us, like, I guess that was embarrassing to him, (laughs) like, I don't know, but ultimately, man, that was the story of my first fight, pause, 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 (laughs) I mean, you tell me what, where else is that going to go down like that, right? Oh, man. But in any case, man, I really, that story came in my head this morning, and it was just something that I got a, I get a chuckle out of that now. Like, thinking back to that, you know, it's just hilarious. So I said, you know what, I'm going to share that with the folks. But, hey, man, if you like the story, got a lot more coming. Uh, still do have several death-defying experiences, 
And I've also decided I'm going to have more of my friends on, and they're going to recount some of the stories that they witnessed. And then, you know, once we run out of stories, like, between us and everything, and I have a lot, so it'll be a while, but eventually I'm going to run out. But when I do, I'm going to start an email chain, and I'm going to get people from all around the world just to email me in their crazy stories, and then I'm just going to read them out. So, um, in any case, man, if you like true stories, if you like laughing, if you want to have a good time, man, tell your friends about this podcast share it, shout it out, whatever. New episodes every Tuesday. Um, I really appreciate you tuning back in and I look forward to seeing you next week. Peace. If you run a business, Bank of Clark County has you covered. Offering cash management services to automate and simplify your business banking, streamlined digital banking, and merchant payment processing that's a one-stop solution. Plus, Bank of Clark offers corporate credit cards that help you optimize capital, organize expenses, and enhance your business. Whether you're looking to earn points faster or lower your APR, Bank of Clark County has the card that's right for you. Member FDIC.